Hello traders, today is Tuesday, January 27th, and I'm Michael Boutros, currency strategist with DailyFX, here to discuss this piece on the Aussie CAD. So we've been tracking this one to the short side on SB ever since the break back below 99.27, which was the bearish invalidation we noted earlier in the month. We're back below that here after tagging a major key resistance, trendline resistance that dates back to the 2013 highs, as well as an overshoot here on a 786 retracement from that September high. Momentum gave us a nice trigger break on that reversal, taking us back below the 60 threshold, shifting the bias to the downside while below this region here. Note, you also had a 200-day moving average just above that resistance confluence. Uh, on the near-term approach, we do have a very nice uh, descending channel formation here also, which looks like it could be in play. If you take a look out further out, we it looks like it could be panning out into a head and shoulders formation. Obviously, the neckline here coming in right around that 97.65, 97.75 threshold. That being said, the rally that we saw in overnight offered a perfect entry right here on a confluence trigger break on some divergence into the highs. Uh, we did get out a little bit early on this one, right around 98.40 earlier today. Still looking for downside bias below 98.86. This will be our our near-term invalidation for the scalp with only a break above 99.28 invalidating the broader downside bias we've been working with since last week. Near-term targets on the shorts, you look at 98, 97.65, 97.75 really validates the head and shoulders. And if that is in play, guys, we're looking for an objective move that takes you as low as that 100% extension at 96.12. So we'll look to see as you head into later tonight, you do have some CPI data out of Australia. Heading to the end of the week, you also have those GDP, GDP figures excuse me, from Canada. We'll keep you updated on the real-time news feed and, as always, in the Scalp webinars on Monday morning at 8.30 Eastern on DailyFX. Till then, best of luck trading, and we'll see you tomorrow. Cheers.